and I'll welcome back to the channel. So this is the final of the three saws that I got for 30 bucks. There's obviously the Pioneer with the chain brake. That needs, a, I got installed this carburetor, but it, it, this thing will run out so of good compression. The pool and wild thing, that thing's running great. Uh, but this little guy, these aren't actually aren't bad, saw, bad saws. I have the Husqvarna version, which I took apart, which I haven't put back together because of the stupid little needle bearings for the crankshaft. I don't like those. I don't have the dexterity anymore for that. Arthritis, other shit, right? Working with metal, no feeling in my hands. But anyways, so this one I want to get running. So I actually pulled out the carb for that one. Uh, right here. I also pulled out the clutch because there's an bag. I wonder if I can get that clutch to work on one of those uh, little uh, Remington saws so I can make it a 325 pitch. We'll see. We might get to that today. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Anyways, so I'm going to fart with this thing and then see if she'll go. Catch you in a few seconds. Hey, so got the top off this thing. Go see if it's gonna start. I kind of fixed the recoil. I think it still needs a little more work, but uh, we're gonna try dumping some old mix down here. It's full of fuel in the tank as well. Uh, see if she'll go. See what will happen. has carb issues which isn't a problem because so I got the other carb and I'm going to swap that in and see if it gets any better. Catch you in a few seconds. Okay so I put the uh, known working carb on it. It's got a new fuel line. I fixed the recoil. So I'm going to make this clear. I'm going to start the saw but I'm pretty sure the recoil is going to fail in some way. I Off camera I had to part with this a few times. Uh, I do have that part saw the Husqvarna 35. They could probably make a good recoil out of because that one was good as far as I can remember. So it might be fine. I think just um, I just need a spacer. These have a little e-clip holding the uh, pulley on. I think if I had a little spacer just to hold it down more because it seems like it slips off the spring whenever a little nubs in there. I just didn't feel like dealing with recoil spring today. This one might go sprawling. I don't know. It's just not gonna cross, we're not going to cross that bridge today. But hopefully she'll draw fuel now. slight adjustment here. I turn the idle up a bit I think. Turn that up a bit. Turn the low jet up. Cut off a little bit of low jet fuel. Hopefully she'll start. Address that, but it runs pretty good. Um, I'm not sure about this oiler. Uh, maybe it has an auto oiler too. I'm not sure. I'd have to check on the crew site or find out. But it runs. Hopefully she oils. Well, you know, I probably just take. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of stupid taking this cover off. Put some kind of oil in here and then see 
Okay. Oils in some capacity. There's oil in there. Okay. So things get sprayed against the wall. to take this off you gotta take that off and that off and this off yeah let's just do it and see if it's oiling fuck it okay so i pulled the uh clutch cover off so we see if the same oils it actually looks like that is a oil setup an oil pump in there but who knows right <laughs> Deal with that. But anyways, it runs, it oils, it's a good little saw. I think I might keep this one. 